Okay, so here we've got a problem, and you could graph it to check your work, but the algebra is so much fun, right? Uh, if you want to graph it, graph the, the line y equals 15, graph this curve right here, and see where they meet, and you're done. But with the algebra, if you take the natural log of both sides, that just feels so rewarding, doesn't it? The natural log of e to the x over 4 minus 1. This, these parentheses right here just to help you see the fraction, right? And that equals the natural log of 15. So you don't need these parentheses here anymore. It's a fraction. It's the order of operations is preserved. You still do x divided by 4 minus 1. Well, when you take the natural log of e to this power, you just get x over 4 minus 1 equals the natural log of 15. So what does x equal? We'll add 1 to both sides and multiply by 4, right? Add 1 and then multiply by 4. And we get this answer right here. And you, I mean, it'd be nice to write this exactly as 4 times the natural log of 15 plus 4, which is the same thing as the natural log of 15 to the fourth plus 4. These are all the same thing. Remember, with logarithms, I can bring this coefficient up as an exponent. But let's just see what we get. So get added there. All right. 4 times the natural log of 15. Boom. Plus 4. Boom. So about 14.832. And you can see that the natural log of 15 uh, to the fourth. Ooh, something's wrong there. Oh, wait. No. Plus 4. We get the same thing, right? So there's different ways of dealing with it. All right. I hope that helped.